Hey guys, it is Sarah. I'm gonna turn my TV down, pause it. So, um, I wanted to come on here and just give you some update on my life. So, um, since my last video, which was low carb, I got pregnant and I got pregnant uh, in May and I stayed um, the same weight um, about 203 throughout my pregnancy, but unfortunately, uh, about two weeks ago, I had what is called membrane rupture at 18, a little over 18 weeks, and that means that my water broke pretty much. Uh, it's called P-PROM, which is pre premature, preemie premature rupture of membranes, I think. I keep forgetting what the first P stands for. There's not a lot of videos out there about preemie or premature P-PROM, especially as early as uh, 18, 19 weeks. Um, so unfortunately, and I'm not gonna get into this cause I'm still very emotional, um, but it's been really rough. But unfortunately, about three days after I had my membranes rupture, I went into labor. And I had contractions, and I ended up being in labor for about 16 hours. And we did have our baby, and she, her name is Sophie. Um, unfortunately, she did not make it. She did live for about an hour and a half. And for about a week after that, we were very, my husband and I were just, shocked that this happened to us like why us kind of thing we we're both christian so we really relied on our faith and still relying on our faith throughout this i'm sorry um so this is not what this video is about i just really wanted to update you and let you know where my life has kind of taken me so we're on week and a half now we're almost at week two it's actually been two weeks today that my my water broke so Saturday will be two weeks that Sophie has passed we do have her ashes and we were able to hold her and love her and she was honestly perfect um, she was fully developed everything two ears two eyes nose mouth and fingers fingernails and she was honestly I'm so thankful that we were able to hold her and love on her and now she's home with us uh, she was cremated and we will forever remember her. She is our angel. She, we don't have any other children, and it's been very hard. So, anyway, this is more of a weight loss channel for me, so I don't want to... I, I will talk about this more if you guys want to hear about, like, what happened and how awful my experience was at the hospital and how they treat 19-week-old babies. Um, I'm happy to talk about that. But today, I wanted to share that um, just about like four days ago, I just decided like I've been on antidepressants since this happened and sleeping medicine and I haven't done anything at all except be sad and, you know, really not feel sorry for myself, but just like mourn and I realized as the course of the week, the first week went on that me getting out and doing things was really good so i started by just going we went, went to somewhere i think we just ran an errand and i felt really good and i was like this is you know helping me it's helping me heal so then we did go to church also and i was able i put my makeup on and i put, got my hair done or put my hair done i mean right now it clearly needs done but so I've just been doing small little errands. Today we went to the Hyundai dealership because some of those are in my car. Um, we're still on, we're doing Dave Ramsey, so we've paid off some debt. I mean, we are, we're not pausing our life completely. We paused it for about a week. I'm mourning every day. I just want to say that. I'm acting kind of crazy. Today, you know, I'm staying at home as a, as a wife now because I was planning on being a stay-at-home mom. But I quit my job about a week before this happened, which is crazy that, you know, I decided to leave my job and then this happened. I mean, I'm very thankful it didn't happen at work or somewhere else. It happened at my house uh, when I pre-prommed. 
But anyway, so anyway, um, so I've just been trying to get out and do things. Tomorrow I'm getting my nails and toenails done. Friday I'm getting my hair done. I'm just doing more things for me and my husband. And I will say that this, sadly, has brought us really close. Um, we have always had a really good and strong relationship and kept God close. And something has changed in our relationship since this, though. And I'll never forget how strong he's been for me and just everything he's done for me. So, um, he's just been amazing. So, I love my husband. And I just want to reiterate that so much. And, um... We're not giving up on being parents. I want to say that also. Unfortunately, the chance of pee proming again is very, it's higher uh, after a first pregnancy, after it happens once. And this is our first. And I'm just really scared now. So, um, I have let people know that if we do become pregnant again, I probably won't be announcing it. So, um, you guys may miss see some videos like this, you know because I just don't want to put it out there. I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll just cross that bridge then. But for now, I have decided that I love low carb, and you guys know that. You've seen, I'm sure you've seen my back and forth videos of like, oh, I did really good. So, um, like I said, I was about 203, 204 during my pregnancy. I've decided to go back to low carb. This is, I feel like this is just helping me to, I like to focus on something, you know? So, like today, I cleaned my house, but I'm also wanting to focus on my myself you know so I'm eating some hot dogs right now this is what I'm doing in front of you um not a mukbang or whatever you call it but anyway I just wanted to let you know that I'm not giving up on low carb I'm doing it again keep us in your prayers if you are praying type for healing continued healing and peace and I will come you know back with more low carb videos and I look forward to that Right now, I'm, uh, I've gotten down to 196.2 in only three days, so I've lost, I guess, nah, seven, about seven pounds, seven or eight pounds in, in three days, which is crazy, but it's all thanks to low carb, and anyway, I, I hope to come on here soon, hopefully once a week again, maybe more. I was talking about getting another channel, and I actually did do another channel, but I'm not, I haven't posted anything on it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, it was more going to be for stay at home mom, stay at home wife, stuff like that. And right now I'm just like focused on just not stressing. So I will talk to you guys soon and thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye.